Your own world. world. Good morning and welcome to Porta Princesa. We seem to be getting up earlier and earlier, Craig. What is going on? We're on holiday. I want to sleep. So we flew here yesterday from Cebu and we stayed in a nice little hostel. And today we are flying up to El Nido in a bus, which is going to take about six hours. We're flying on a bus. When we head up there, we've got a crazy plan when we get there, but we're going to keep that secret from you until it happens. But um, yeah, six hours I've taken my travel sickness tablets. I don't know how cramped this bus is going to be, but we've paid for aircon, so hopefully it's going to be lovely. So far the guy's 40 minutes late, so hopefully he's not a no-show. I, I really think he might not come, you know? What happened yesterday before the plane? <laughs> oh, it's just... It's just a ritual now, isn't it? I get so nervous. Stop it. I don't know. I just go into like a meltdown and, and anxiety comes over me from that one time that I fainted coming in to Manila. And I just I just have the dire result. I just can't help it. You're so rude. You you don't even help me, Craig. No, I you try just laugh and I'm just like <laughs> <laughs> I try I try and laugh you through it. To make to ease the pain. Do I look like I want to laugh when I'm going through it? This is our man. So. Hopefully the bus oh, isn't packed. So helpful. Look at this angry fella today. What are you saying? Oh, you... Stopped off for some food. We're about a quarter of the way to El Nido. Amy fainted about half an hour into the journey. Dived out on the minivan onto everyone's luggage. Passed out. It was a little bit scary, but she made it through. She went a strange shade of grey. I had to launch some water on her neck. But everyone was really helpful and sorted her out. But she's alive. She's had some food now, so hopefully she'll be alright for the rest of the way. You were right there, babes. I'm having a great time, Craig. <sighs> Fainted three times in three weeks. I'm going for a personal best. Before we left, I was like, Fully ready for this traveling, we've been on for so long. First flight to Manila, I'm not ready at all. Hit the deck. So horrible, such a horrible feeling. No, he's probably freaked out as well. I don't I know what I'm gonna go. I'm just like, why? Right, I'm gonna go. And then just try to stick my head down so I don't hit anyone on my way down. It's so annoying though, it really is so annoying. I can feel it build up. Like, as soon as I get hot, I'm a goner. You made it, babes, and you're alive. Thanks, babes. We'll get there. Don't you worry. I'll pull over the van whenever you want. So it is all in my head as soon as I'm like, oh, apart from that fate. And I do. But I need something to be like, you're fine. There's nothing going to happen to you. I'm like, just breathe, just breathe, just breathe. You're going, good. You're right. And I was like, where the hell am I? So we checked into Marina Grande Beach Cottages and it's right on the front, which is wicked. The room's a bit sketchy though. Look at this strange little room. He told us this was the kitchen, but uh, I don't see any cooking facilities anywhere. There's a pig outside and he's shouting and I'm either gonna have to go and meet him or he's ready for the chop. So, oh my God. This is the room though. The bathroom's cool. <laughs> Oh, right. oh. But the locals are really nice. I set the hammock up and these two little crazy kids were in there messing about. 
And I had a whole bunch of bananas and they ate the whole lot. <laughs> they must have been starving, love them. So, but they were nice. I'm not with it, Craig. I haven't eaten properly today. I, I need to eat right now. Yeah, we need to find a restaurant. So far, it looks quite busy here. It doesn't look sort of laid back as the places we have been. Yeah, I've been told Al Nido is quite touristy, which means prices go up. But there is a lot to do here. There's loads of like island tours, and it's most it's supposed to be like the most magical place ever. Yeah. Like the beaches. Like this is where the Filipino people come for a holiday. So yeah. you know it's good. We need to find some food. Oh, bye. Careful. So that's us for today. We got our little bean burritos. We're on the beach. I'm gonna finish our day just chilling by here. It is lovely. Everything's a lot closer than I thought it was gonna be. I thought we were literally gonna have to get like a big bus outside El Nido to get any kind of boat, but it's like right on your doorstep. It's really cool. It is cool. Everything's come alive again in the nighttime, which is great. There's like markets hanging about. Everybody's outside. Everyone's cooking outside like the steam and just the noise and everything. It's really nice, isn't it? It is, really cool. Slightly more expensive again now than Boho. <clears throat> it was like 250 for a burrito, which is like twice the price. And a vegetarian one at that. Yeah, but other than that, first impression of Alnido, pretty bloody beautiful. Yeah. So we'll see you bright and early for something super special. See you then.